All right, guys, so a few days ago, I made a video reacting to Grant Cardone because I was hoping he could teach me some ways to make some money. But if you watch my video, you could clearly tell it did not work and I just got really frustrated. But today I decided I should give one of these motivational finance guru guys another shot. So I decided to choose someone that I've been hearing about that has a pretty unique style to say the least. And also I heard that they can be a little intense at times, but he's claimed to have made a handful of people billionaires. So he's gotta be doing something right. And if you're not aware who I'm talking about, it's Dan Pena, he's been on like Logan Paul's podcast and Joe Rogan's podcast. So he's a pretty big deal. So now let's just check out some of his work. This is what I'm training you to be like. The four horsemen of the motherfucking apocalypse. Fucking warriors, not whiners, not warriors. This dude is pissed off. Like, how does he have so much energy at this age? He's 75 and he's a billionaire. Like, why isn't he just like relaxing somewhere? Why is he spending his time yelling at a bunch of people? I'm kind of just concerned for this guy's health now. I feel like he's gonna have a heart attack any day. Fucking warriors, not whiners, not warriors. You think Donald Trump's a whiner? You think he worries and gives a fuck what you think of him? Uh, I don't think Donald Trump's the best example to use when you're trying to refer to someone who's not a whiner. Like, I don't want to get political here or anything, but Donald Trump's known for whining about pretty much everything. You think Elon Musk gives a fuck what you think of him? You think the late Steve Jobs gives it, gave a fuck what you thought of him? You think Bill Gates gives a fuck? And I go on and on and on. The only one that gives a fuck what you, is you. <laughs> Why did he call out some random guy saying that he still gives a fuck? Because like, what if that guy just gives no fucks? Like, what if he gives such little fuck that he doesn't care if you say he gives a fuck? Maybe Dan's just testing him right here. I mean, that'd be some deep shit. You only have one time to make a first impression. The first impression is how you look. Now, I already know how I look. And you know how I look as well. Wait, if I'm supposed to give no fucks about what anyone thinks of me, then why does the first impression even matter? So should I care about what someone thinks of me? Like, I, do, I can't figure this out. How am I supposed to make any money with this guy? Mr. Carnegie was a hard bastard. Vanderbilt was a hard bastard. Henry Ford I was a hard bastard. Jeez, this guy does not sound good. After every time he yells, it sounds like he's gasping for air. And we all get the idea here. You gotta be a hard bastard to make money and be successful or whatever. Continue on with your fucking slides and save your breath. Rockefeller was a hard bastard. Steve Jobs was a ruthless hard bastard. Tough as nails. Ruthless. <laughs> Take no prisoners! Damn, this dude is going off. I think he's having like a Vietnam flashback or something. Like, you made your point a while ago. I think saying take no prisoners is a little excessive. Like, imagine if you just accidentally wandered into this room while his seminar was going on. I'd be pretty freaked out. Like, I don't know. I might think it's some kind of cult or something where like they all just sit around listening to some old deranged guy yell about war flashbacks and how tough he is, which is actually pretty accurate now that I think about it. But also there's a twist to it where like the old guy's a billionaire and like you could become a billionaire billionaire going to see him or something this is just fucking craziness we ought to just line you know this the, the cement wall we ought to just line all your parents up there cut them down like the fucking dogs that they are jesus yeah i think this guy's a little too intense for me like i think if he actually did that machine gun towards me i probably would have thought i was actually shot like this dude scares the shit out of me damn it i'm probably just not cut out to make a billion dollars elon musk's favorite word is fuck every third or fourth word in a sentence is fuck wait is he saying that elon's successful because he says the f word a lot i, I say it a lot too so maybe i still do have a chance of becoming a billionaire now, am I the only white, black, yellow, or purple man that knows that? It's common fucking knowledge. Why doesn't anybody talk about it? I honestly don't know if I've ever heard Elon say fuck, but this dude seemed confident. I mean, look at him. His head's about to explode. Like, I think he knows what he's talking about here, so I'm just going to trust him. Nick Jagger. Mick Jagger has not gotten laid more, more than me. The whole Rolling Stones. There was a medical fraud back in the uh, 60s and 70s that they said that the male organs can only produce between 30 and 35,000 orgasms. 30 and 35,000. And I went to dick doctors because I was worried I was going to run out. For real. For real. Why is he even talking about this? Like, I thought we were supposed to be making money here, not listening to him talk about how he had to go to a dick doctor because he thought he was running out of sperm. This dude is fucking nuts. Like, where is he going with this story? 
in the history of the seminar, 28 years, all the men that have come in 28 years haven't been laid 30,000 times. Cumulatively. But one of the things when we talk about the program is I never took no for an answer. I mean, literally. Oh, that's where he's going with this, that he doesn't take no for an answer. I'd say it's probably not the best idea to attribute the amount of women you slept with to the fact that you don't take no for an answer. Like this dude literally just said, listen, I've been laid more than the Rolling Stones, I've been laid more than you'll ever be, and you wanna know why? Because I didn't take no for an answer. I was hoping that wasn't where he was taking that story. And, as I said, you know who's behind Bitcoin? Putin. It's a Ruski conspiracy to fuck up the American economy and the world. It's a long range plan he started seven, eight years ago. What the hell is going on here? Like, I feel like I'm at a Christmas dinner with someone's like great grandpa who has dementia and is ranting about how Putin invented Bitcoin. He's going to see the demise of the Western financial world while he's still the head of Russia. He's going to live, he's going to be there long enough. And, he, and, he, and he's already hacked into the brains of all the morons. You, YouTubers. Whoa, whoa, he's calling me out now? Is he, he's saying that Putin hacked into my brain? It's really hard to tell if he's being serious here or not, but I don't think he is because he's not yelling. I feel like whenever he's yelling, he's being serious, but when he's talking normally, he's just like joking around maybe. I don't know, I'm not learning much from this guy. I just know he gets laid a lot and he thinks I could be a Russian spy, so I think I'm gonna stop it here. So thanks for watching the video. Make sure you leave a comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll catch you at the next one.